What is the complete startup process of a mobile phone? We will start with the battery. This is the first step. The second is the VPH, which you need to have the V part secondary voltage in the VPH. If you don't have this voltage in the VPH, which is the main power supply, then the power manager IC wouldn't get a voltage. The third thing is the crystal oscillator, which works in standby and provides a frequency of 38.4 MHz in standby for the PMU IC. The fourth is the power key line, which is the power signal line. The fifth is the power key itself. When the power key is pressed and the power IC switch on, it's going to give out these voltages right here. It's going to give out the VREG, which is the 3 volt of the hard disk. This video that you are watching right here, it's a premium video and the reason why I say it's a premium video is because this video is actually for my pro level mobile recurring course in which I launched 4 days ago. So the reason why I uploaded the video on my YouTube channel as a free video is because I want you to know the complete startup process of a mobile phone and I want you to know what my professional level course is about. You understand? So with this professional level course, you are going to learn every secret because the course focuses on secret in a mobile PCB. The course is not a basic level course. The course starts from the schematic level of mobile repairing, which means that if you want this course, you should know how to read schematic diagrams already. But if you don't know how to read schematic diagrams already, that's not a problem because I have a level 1 course before the professional level course in which you can get the level 1 course before you get the professional level course. So with this course, you are going to learn how to find the clock signal and the reset signal. You are going to find how to test the clock and the reset signal on a mobile PCB by studying every single circuit. You are going to study how to find the VREGs because we have different types of VREGs with different voltages. You are going to find how to test all these VREGs and any type of input and output voltage of a mobile PCB. You are going to study a lot of things because in a mobile PCB we have between 15 to 30 or even 35 VREGs depending on the mobile phone brand and the mobile phone model. So you are going to study all this. If you want this pro level course, you can send me a message on WhatsApp using the number on the screen right here. And you can also check out the dedicated video right here in which I show more information about the course. So at the end of the video, I will put the video as well so that you can watch and get more information about the course before messaging to get the course. You understand? Again, when you press the power key, the PMU IC will then generate the VREG voltage that supplies the hard disk. It will generate the 1.8 volt that supplies the hard disk. And it will generate the V core voltage that supplies the CPU. The next, it will generate a clock signal from the PMU IC to the CPU, and the CPU will generate a clock signal from the CPU to the hard disk. The next, the PMU IC sends a reset signal to the CPU, and the CPU sends a reset signal to the hard disk. The ninth, the CPU reads the hard disk information using the RX and the TX line right here. And if there is any information right here that isn't accurate or if there is any problem while reading the information, the phone will, won't be able to boot up. So the last will be the PS hold right here. When the CPU reads the information of the hard disk or when the CPU sends a clock signal or a reset signal and there is any problem doing so, the CPU will then send a signal through the power hold right here, power supply hold that stands for the PS, the power supply hold to the power manager IC to hold the voltage that it gives out. That's when the CPU has performed a self-check and everything is okay. So if the CPU performs a self-test, a self-check, and it reads everything 
of the hard disk and everything is okay, it reads the clock signal, the reset signal, it sends the clock signal and the reset signal, and everything is okay, it will send a signal to the power manager IC through the PS hole and tell the power manager IC to hold the voltage it's giving out. But if there is any problem reading any of these, it will send a signal to the power manager IC to shut down or to malfunction and you can have problems like stopping on boot block or restarting or automatically switching off when trying to boot.